Okay. In the next two videos, we're going to look at webhooks. If you already know what a webhook is, just jump into it. If you're using Zapier, jump into that one. If you're using Integromat, jump into that one. But if you don't know what a webhook is, it's probably a good idea that I take a moment and explain them. A webhook is simply a URL. It's a place on the web that you go to, like Google.com or Facebook.com. That's a URL, right? Uh, a place you go. That, but that place that you go can collect data. And it can then do something with that data and send it somewhere else. So in the case of a webhook for this, it's going to uh, get that URL. We're going to put it into Group Maximizer. That is going to be sent to that URL from Group Maximizer, whatever data we tell to go, which is the data that we're collecting from their group uh, approval, right? Or decline if you're sending those out to. And then it's going to take that data and we're going to do something with it. In the case of Zapier, Zapier is going to do something with it and do whatever we tell it. Go to a text campaign, go to a CRM, go to a spreadsheet, go to, we can do you know, thousands literally of things that we can do with that data, with the name, with the email, with the answer to the question, whatever it is that we've collected. So, and if it's Integromat, if you're doing your webhook through Integromat, then the data goes to an Integromat URL and Integromat, well, then you'll tell Integromat what to do with it. So that's all the webhook is. It's just a place on the internet where data can get sent to and then done something with and forwarded on somewhere else to where it needs to be. Okay. So that's what we mean by webhook. And now hopefully when we start setting these up and showing what you're doing now, you'll have a little more clarity. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Thanks.